don't spreadsheets that. Why not? Maybe I want to. I feel like I should throw this out there. I, I am very much also watching some Colette Tunic. But. Uh, that aside. Uh, it's time. I... I'm trying to decide if I want to start with your game. Or... If I want to, like, play some random games first and then play this one. But I feel like I want to start with this one, because I'm very excited. Okay. Where should I this one? So yes. This is the game that uh, Minish created in 48 hours. I did, I heard, I heard that there was a La Mulana. I'll be curious as to if uh, Colette starts La Mulana uh, anytime soon. Because I feel like Colette's got a pretty big backlog right now. But, if Colette does start La Mulana, that's going to be dangerous because I need to finish La Mulana before Colette starts La Mulana. It's really hard to say. Some stuff, like, Colette goes through really quickly. In other stuff, Colette, like, takes a really long time to go through. Uh, which, uh... Is like a good thing though. It's it's good content. But uh I I don't think Colette's gonna wanna go straight to La Mulana from Tunic. Like she's also been saying for a long while that she wanted to do uh, Subnautica. So I would imagine that might be before La Mulana. Yeah, I, I think Glut Blank Subnautica would be, like, amazing. That would be a great stream. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It would be Okay. Uh, we're gonna start this now. Uh, I'm going to play it in the browser version, which maybe is worse quality. I don't know. It shouldn't be worse quality. But, uh, normally I like to play games downloaded. But I figure that most people are going to experience it this way. So it's the way that I want to play it. The green orb allows you to cling to and jump off of walls. Oh my gosh. I The last time I saw this, there was not the animations added. That's really cool. Oh. Interesting. I thought the audio would because it... OBS is set to just pick up my uh, desktop audio, and this is desktop sounds. So you don't hear like the random music coming through? That's weird. Uh, one second. I see. Now it should work. It turned out that at some point in time I disabled desktop audio, which is very awkward because I think that means that the music I had playing during loading hasn't been playing either. I have no idea how long that's been the case. Womp womp. The blue orb allows you to double jump. The yellow orb allows you to crouch and slide with control. Sliding also gives you a huge speed boost you can use to clear large gaps. Oh no.
The red orb grants you immunity to fire hazards. You can press R to restart from a checkpoint if needed. It's okay. The orb of fire immunity has been returned. Oh, you do not go up with that. Noted. Rip. Oh no. Oh no. What did you do? I accidentally refreshed the page. Oh, you fool. We will need a speed run. Let's see, what color was it that is crouch? Let's let's return the crouch orb first. The orb of Crouch has been returned. The orb of Walkling was returned. Oh, right, I got rid of the orb of Walkling. I'm a fool.
The orb of double jump was returned. I like that the text is just floating up. We can follow the text. Hello, text. Goodbye, text. Fire immunity was returned. No, oh, all orbs. Oh, my God. <laughs> We have placed the golden D3 upon the pedestal. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Also, you turned my very bad mess of a level into a very good looking level. Thank you for playing. That was good. I believe we are now locked here forever. I do think it's very funny. The, the ending idea that somebody stole the idol and replaced it with the sack. It's and that we reversed that. I know, that's very cute. <laughs> we took the bag of sand and put the idol back. That's very good. For those that do not know, the uh, this idol, this idol is uh, from the game that Minish and I made last year. Although it was not gold in that game, but but uh, made a game about a D3 that controlled the seasons. And everyone knows that D3s are always triangles because all dice are those, uh, what, what are they called? Prism dice? Crystal dice? I like prism dice. Yeah. Anyway, yes. Good game. And now... And now for random games. Um, so I'm going to refresh this. Um, so I cannot, be because I did not submit one, I can't even like choose the games I want. I technically have to play games at random. But I think that the games at random list it pulls from is like 90% games from this exact list that I have loaded. Because um, earlier I clicked on a game and it just let me play it. Um, like, you can play any game you want. You can't rate them. But I do want to be, like, rating them as I go. So, uh, anyway. So we will go ahead and start. We'll just go down the list, probably. We'll start with Tom Agachi. Zero ratings and three comments. I'm sure this game isn't broken. 
Ah, classic. I think we got someone that uh, did not did have a thing. There's, yeah, there's a lot of people who have submitted broken files. Or, whatchamacallit. So in the event that they're broken, um, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to actually report them. That is, that is this option. I will verify. I won't just go off the comments, though. We will download. Downloaded game. And then we will launch the game. Alas, unable to launch the game. Alright, so, we will report game. Uh, it is broken. Boom. Submit report. All right. What? This one says it was only uploaded for Mac? That's literally against the rules. I may report it. You are required for this to submit a Windows build minimum. You are encouraged to submit a Windows and browser build. You have to submit either Windows or... Browser build, right? Uh, I think you had to submit a minimum of a Windows build, but you were encouraged to also do a browser. Last last year, I'm pretty sure you were required to do a Windows build. Um, it is possible that this year they made it one or the other. I'm going to look this up. Okay. Anything credit you can upload a file that runs on Windows or browsers. I like I like this these comments. I can't figure out how to run it. I think it's Unity based, but I can't see any project files or an executable. That's because it was submitted for Mac. There is no executable. Those are app files. They are not EXEs. Uh, although I mean maybe there's my executable file. But this one's even funnier just because of mentioning EXE. Anyway, but of course we will we will download it. We will attempt to play it. I tried to build my game for Mac and Linux, but Unity yelled at me. So alas, I did not. Unsurprisingly, I cannot launch the game that says it's for Mac. What do you mean? You mean you're not streaming this from your Mac? Ah, uh, I have a confession. I am not streaming this from my Mac. Unbelievable. All right, now for pers Persona Non Grata. Ah, it looks like this person decided to just send like the EXE or something and they didn't know how you have to bundle these. What? Oh my god, you can even see it right here. I just I just looked at the files you can download. <laughs> Rip. Oh. Oh man. 
Uh, you know, that's okay, though. This, you know what? I can't tell if this is better or worse than the person last year um, that I stumbled upon that uploaded every single file individually. So, like, there was, like... Uh, because with that, you could, in fact, play it. You just had to individually download all, like, 30-something files or whatever. Like, the, the, so let me rephrase it. The folders, they also zipped and uploaded. So, like, like, they opened the folder that had the game files, and it was like they dragged everything in, and, like, the folders got converted to zips automatically. But there was still a bunch of stuff you had to download and assemble yourself to play it. It was really funny to me. Last year when I was doing this, um, for Broken Ones, I did rate them all one star. I didn't really want to do that this year because you're supposed to report them. But also, I'm like worried if I just go through and do this and then vote everything one star, that it's going to like flag my, my voting and think that I'm just trying to downvote everything. When in reality, I just like don't want them to show up as the still needs votes list. The project files were uploaded rather than the build executable. Wait, doesn't that mean this is playable? Assuming it was made in Unity? We're gonna download this. We're gonna see what's in these project files. I don't recognize what these files go to. Uh, hmm. Hmm. GDJS is like a term I'm seeing a lot in these files. Look at the game page. Maybe it'll tell me what it was made in. I don't recognize that icon either. I have no idea what game engine this was made in. So I don't know how to build the files. Or build the project. Yeah, I've never seen that icon. My guess is going to be some sort of Game Maker-like thing. I mean, that's not... unless there's a new Game Maker icon. I don't think that's Game Maker, but... It's not Godot. It's not Unity. Clearly no other options exist. I will go ahead and... Just add that to the reports then.
found I've, I've stumbled on a game. Uh, which answers the question, how does your game fit the theme with yes? <laughs> Oh, that is another thing. We haven't been reading these because I've been worried about whether or not they, they run. I guess I'll read them after I see if they run. It's a big problem with picking the lowest rated submissions is you just get a lot of broken games. You get that for the first day, but but as people report them, they get removed, so like, it clears out. Again, I do wonder if maybe I should be downvoting these, but I just really don't want, like... My understanding is that uh, Itch with Game Jams does have a thing where if an account looks like it's only downvoting entries, then that account has less voting power. Which makes sense. If somebody is just griefing, they're just gonna go downvote everything. You don't want that person's votes to actually, like, count. You don't- You don't want that person to actually have a negative impact on people, and you don't want that person to try and intentionally just get, like, a few entries upvoted. Uh... That being said, uh... The way that I like to go play the games is the least played ones, which is difficult sometimes. Since this one has apparently build files, um, but uh, I don't have Godot installed, I will skip that. I won't report it, because technically, if someone has Godot installed, they might be able to build it. Although I guess that's still reportable. I should report it. Let's go to some of these that have zero commons and zero uh, other stuff. Designer's Playground. There we go. We got a game going. Alright. Okay, hopefully it still shows. I put it back into full screen. Uh, so I, I can't tell if it's there or not, but we will hope it's there. Excellent, excellent. Uh...
Oh, I grabbed a coin and now I can't jump anymore. Oh. Uh, I'm so confused. Oh. Is that supposed to be a four? We'll find out. Okay. We want that. We want that. Uh-oh. I don't know if we can get high enough. I do like that this, like, uh, I've, I've mentioned a few times that one of my favorite games ever is uh, a game called Perspective. As you go, like, back and forth, kind of like this. I like this. Oh! Oh. Oh, we missed the money, but that's okay. Oh, why didn't I jump? Well, that's sad. Moving platform, I didn't mean to build that, uh, sus. I don't like these moving platforms, these are bad. These don't seem like an upgrade, they seem like a downgrade. Is Colette at first boss? Where's Colette? Oh god, there's stuff down there. Oh, we once again cannot jump. Okay. Well, uh, go back to checkpoint. Okay, we can't jump off of this for some reason.
What? Okay, I can't jump from here either. How the heck? Oh my god, there's an upgrade down there. Rude. I don't know how I'm supposed to get those, but also, I might, I might call this done with this game. This is a nice game. It is missing audio, like, it does jumping, it doesn't have background music. Uh, and it doesn't really explain how you first start out. That was a little confusing to learn, but that's okay. I don't like that I keep getting stuck there, though. I want to progress. Trying to jump causes that terrible sound. I think maybe they didn't figure out something about certain floors or something. Alright, well you know what? That was a good, a good thing to try. Alright. Enjoyment. Um... I feel like two. There was very little going on in that. It it was an interesting concept, but it wasn't like very enjoyable. Uh, creativity. I mean, the back and forth. I don't know. I think there was a lot of idea. It was again. I'll put two again. I feel like there was a lot of potential for that to have a lot of creativity. But it only had the very basics of the idea actually there. Presentation. Uh, I mean, that's kind of the same. We had some very basic sounds. We were kind of missing everything else. And they decided to go with a lot of browns on browns for color scheme. Which is a choice. You reverse the roles beneath the player and the level designer. What? Were they saying because you go back and forth from the player and level designer, you're constantly reversing roles? Kerr is streaming right now. I don't know what Kerr is streaming. Kerr's status probably alluded to knowing what game it was.
All right. All right. So that was a you know a game. That was, was that dungeon. No. What was that? That was. That was designer's playground. Okay. Tower attack. Oh no. If you need Joseph, Tower attack cannot be run. Oh no. I'm not sure what they messed up. It seems like it should be able to be run. Like it's a full... There's a full Unity game there. Although, maybe it was zipped incorrectly. What, so, 7-zip lets me extract it. Um, but if I try and have Windows open up the zip, Windows fails to be able to open it up. That's concerning. All right, so next, Metal, Paper, Scissors, Z. Why Metal, Paper, and Scissors? I'm sure we'll find out. Game with rock, paper, scissors, and cards. I sure hope the tie to the theme is not just that they reverse the order of like what what defeats what. Okay, but that would be funny. I mean, it would be funny, but it would be one of the weakest connections to the theme I've seen. All right, let's see here. Metal, paper, scissors. I think there are sounds, but they're quiet? 
I hear like ambient sounds. Metal, paper, scissors. Whoa. There's an enemy in your way, but don't worry, you can take him out, Seven. Oh my god. Pick up the scissors card ahead and press spacebar to use it. This portal will only open once you've taken out all of the enemies. Upon use, the reverse card will flip the power dynamic of rock, paper, scissors. Oh no, there's a rock and where scissors. Rolls reversed. Oh my god. Remember, the order you pick up the cards are important. Ah! I didn't want to pick that up. I slurped it. Uh, well, let's just chop you. Wait. Oh, because we had re rolls reversed. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so rolls are currently reversed, so let's take another roll revert reversal card. Okay, and now let's roll reversal card again. The high pitch sound you just heard indicated that the portal is open. You can also press R to restart the level you're in. Alright, what other cards do we have here? Uh, oh, that turns us into paper. Okay. Nice. I don't like that this rock pulsates. That's normal. Um. Oh, that's a good portal. I don't think. Okay, either there's only the one level. Portal doesn't work. I do like their little rolls reversed uh, thing. Rolls reversed. Yeah. Look at us oo wooing. Exactly. Yeah, I don't think there's more than one level. I think there's zero. There's 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 the singular level. All right. Oh. Well. You know, there's a good start to a game there. Oh, the quit to menu button doesn't work. Okay, as person who was in charge of the menu for for the game last year, I don't I don't understand why you would put menu elements into it and not make them work. Like like if you're putting the element there, you tie the element to the action. That sorry, this is not like a like I'm not angry. I just think that this is a it's like a pet peeve. I feel like in Game Jam games, there's a lot of games that put menu elements in and then don't actually link the menu elements. But like, 
There's no reason to have the menu element in there. Like, like only add them as you connect them. If you if you aren't sure if you'll get to it, then just don't put the menu element there. All right. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Enjoyment. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with two again. I'm going to reserve one for games that I do not enjoy. I did enjoy that. There wasn't really a lot of game. I enjoy the idea. We're, we're going to. Creativity. I'm going to say three. It, it's just rock, paper, scissors. But there's there's like a kind of fun the, the card system. I could see that being being fleshed out more into like a fun little puzzle game that like has a very uh easy to understand core concept. And uh presentation I'm going to go with 2 as well. The level the level seemed like it wasn't actually like fleshed out. And by that I mean the, the green squares. I still wasn't actually sure if I had to stay on the platforms or if it would keep me on them. What? Leaving sight. Ah. Oh, I think I had this happen last year, too. Oh my gosh, new comment! New comment. Better than an actual Indiana Jones movie. True. Or is it the actual? Are they referring to the recent one, maybe? I feel like Indiana Jones 1 is a good movie. I haven't seen it in a long time, though. 1 is... I, I don't remember exactly. Raiders of the Lost Ark no. well, one is, is 1. Good. Temple of Doom is 2. two Last is... Crusade is 3. 1 and 3 are generally yeah. said to be the best. 2 is okay. Yeah, like, I don't I, think but it is... has a lot of problematic elements that did not age well. I mean, I'm pretty sure all three of them do. I but... know, but that one really had some stuff that I was like, oof. But let's all just agree that they're not four. I don't understand how more Indiana Jones movies were made after four. Four was terrible. Four was a bad movie. Okay, anyway. Uh... And now there's a five. Oh my god, is it really? Oh, right. I. That's why I was saying I can't believe they made more. Because of that. Sometimes I forget to click the save ratings button. That's why it yelled at me when posting a comment. Okay. Wait, so, what? Um, after you rate things, you have to click save ratings. And I sometimes forget to click save ratings. Alright. <laughs> oh boy. Colette is on first real boss of Tunic. What? You think the guard captain's not a real boss? The what? The guard captain. The, the guy who guards the East Bell. No. That's a mini boss. I don't know, man. He's got a full boss health bar. You know who else has a boss health bar? Wings Molds and Hollow Knight. Team Cherry coded them as bosses. <laughs> I mean... I don't know. Maybe. 
maybe they are. I mean, they literally are, yes. I, mean, I think they should count as bosses, you know, they are pretty hard to kill. What is going on? Oh, I see. We are trying to kill, kill this person. There is no audio. Oh, we got a pause button. Man, vampire survivors, but you play with the enemies. I've never seen this idea before. Yeah. Oh, is that giving the other person buffs? Is that what that is? The little, the little cards that have like a plus on them. Also, is game over me losing or is it them losing? I guess it's supposed to be them losing. Or is it that I control the enemies but I am still the player? Maybe I'm not supposed to be killing the player. Maybe I'm supposed to be summoning things in a way that I don't die? What's this game called? Uh, it's called Dracula's Wrath. Oh my god, they just got the wand. It looks like you're supposed to kill the player. Maybe the game over is just to make it look maybe make it look more like vampire survivors. Because a lot of this UI is just uh mimicking that game. I don't know. I see the thing that has me confused is that it's really easy to instantly kill the player by just spamming all the enemies. But if I'm doing this, the game is just continuing, and it seems like there's upgrades. Like, I don't know, I can't tell... I can't tell what the goal is. I feel like the goal is not to kill the player. Or... Hear me out. Maybe the game was not balanced very well. Like, I think, like, I do think the goal is to kill the player, but I think they made the enemy just a bit too strong, maybe. Or... Hmm. 
Jesus Christ. I can spam a lot of enemies. Okay, I want to try this one more time. This time I'm just going to try and spam as much from the very beginning. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. I just realized I had chat covered up. Yorto, hello. Yorto. Uh, also, maybe, maybe it's just Vampire Survivors. I, I will say I've never played Vampire Survivors because I just heard too many stories of people getting really sucked into it and, like, uh, playing a lot of time, putting a lot of time into a game that they didn't feel like they were, like, really enjoying. And, um, being that, like, I tend to be the kind of person that if I even remotely enjoy a game, I can put a lot of time into it, uh, it seemed like a bad idea for me to try. Uh, instead of killing monsters that come out in waves, the player sends monsters to kill vampire hunters. We used pre-existing audio. There was no audio. Just to, to let everyone know, there was no audio. Uh, enjoyment, um, I'm sorry, I did not enjoy that at all. That was, I, I kind of really wish that I had an actual goal. If the goal was to try and, like, take care of your player and slowly feed them experience, that would be nice. I just want to, I want to be told that that's the goal. But since the goal of being told is to kill the player and there's nothing limiting me from just spamming, uh, like, there's not really, like, things to do there. Creativity. This was a clone of Vampire Survivors. This was... <laughs> it wasn't mm. even a... But it was. The roles were reversed. That, I guess. I'm, I'm gonna say that's not creative. I'm sorry. I am sorry, um... Th the three people that made this game. I did not find, like... I don't know, that seems like the first idea that came to, to, to mind, like... I don't know, maybe, maybe, like, creativity could be there if there was something else going on, but... I had played a few of these vampire survivors where you play as the enemy, and there was, like, only one of those that I thought was actually decently creative. Yeah. Last year, so last year with Roll the Dice, uh, there was a handful of games like that where, like, where there was, like, certain game concepts that tons of people did. Um, what was that one that people seemed to do because they thought they were being creative on the take, but, like, it was the really obvious next thing? Um, the one where you are a giant die and you, like, move forward and each face that you land on does things and stuff like that. Um, it's like those puzzle games. Like, you can only make certain movements. There is a name for that genre of games, but I don't remember the name. Um, there was tons and tons of those, and I probably played, like, 40 of them, and out of those, I think two were ones where I was like, wow, this was an actual really cool take on this, and I really liked this game. Like, like, I feel like you have to have some sort of idea that maybe the idea you're doing isn't going to be an original idea, and if the idea is not going to be original, what are you going to do to make that game I mean, like stand out that. that's true Reflection. that's true there's like maybe like, people oh, I have an idea and I only have two days and I'm gonna just go with it it's just like I don't know I think you gotta you have to uh think about it <laughs> games are about player agency I mean to be fair I think that Bjorto is saying that uh Specifically, the game where you don't control the player and you just spam the monsters. There's no real agency in that. Well, I think they were talking about the... I thought they were talking about Vampire Survivors. Oh, I didn't... I missed the... I didn't understand the hype. 
uh, like games are about player agency. Wait, doesn't the player have control of the 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 like player in that game? I again, I haven't played it. Choose which abilities to level up. Wait, are you not using the abilities in it? Uh, the attacks are automatic, but you choose like which attacks you get when you level up. I don't know how I feel about that. I did not know this. I thought because I've seen like like video from it, and I thought that like you like spammed like you used different buttons or something to spam the different attacks. Oh, that's terrible. The game can get to a point where you can just sit in one spot and let enemies just die, which is it. I don't know, I mean, for the most part, I like vampire survivors. Is Vampire Survivors, like, open source? Like, I'm trying to, to think about how... How someone could have made this game that feels like you want to feed the hunter enemies and didn't realize that that's what they were making. Like, I just don't understand how this game exists. Wait, what? What I'm saying is, I'm wondering how they got to this point. <laughs> I don't understand how this game that I just played... I, I don't understand how they created the entire level up system for the character without, like, realizing that you would never use that system. Like, I mean, they did the. They, they did gain abilities when they leveled up. I know! Like, that's what I'm saying! Like. Okay, let me rephrase this. Um. I do not understand why they made a level up system at all when it doesn't seem like by playing the game normally you would ever level up the player. Like, there was nothing stopping instantly killing the, th the player. I'm saying, how did they, like... I get that. It, it looks like they had, like, plans for the game. Like, they intended the game to go on longer than it really does. And they just never got around to making it good. Yeah. I guess at the very least, maybe if they had... Uh, I think very early testing would have showed that this was an issue. And that they could have like put timers on them. Like if they had put a timer on the cards so you couldn't use the cards very quickly, that would instantly have fixed the problem. Well, speaking of that, speaking of that one that I thought was good, I should I should provide a link to that in the general channel. Oh yeah, that I'm going to play some of those games in a little bit. I want to go through and rate. What is it? Ten games you have to rate. Ten, yeah. The Legend of Sword. I want to play that next. I want to go through and play like ten games first, and then I'm gonna go start like randomly picking other games and seeing some of the other stuff.
How are you doing today, Bierto? Colette just said, I understand that it's iframes, but I don't think it's you can go through things frames in reference to the tunic rolls. If I were being active in the chat, that would that would get a uh, hmm emoji. Exactly, yes. Last year when I was doing this, I renamed every folder as I went to uh, call it game title by author. And I am being significantly more lazy this time. Uh, as for the games I have to download, last year I went out of my way to like name the folders, um, game name, and then like underscore author name. And I was saying this year I am being much lazier. I'm, I am not doing that. Uh, mostly it was so that I could easily reference games again, but I just don't think the effort was worth it. I do wish um, OBS had a way to very quickly switch things. I hate, I hate uh, needing to switch to my active game in OBS. A game by Jin, Team Jin and Tonic. Oh my gosh. Okay, also this just made me realize that Jin... That's not... Jin as in like a uh, like a Jin mythological like a creature G. is... It can have a D. It can be spelled like that. Okay, well... There are multiple spellings. I like the D, okay? You do like the D. Yes, I like the D. In my Jin and Tonic. <laughs> Every 1,000 years, a hero is awakened. On their quest to defeat evil, they must seek out a legendary sword that calls to them from the deep within the force. Forge from the soul of a god, the legendary sword has the power to seal away which cannot die. Once the hero has completed the quest, the sword is returned to the westing place to oasis the forces of evil to arise again. That sword is me, and to be honest with you, I'm sick of it. Yeah. Oh, we got an eyeball. I haven't seen an eyeball on a sword since Soul Calibur. I don't sleep. Thousands of years go by. What may seem like a divine blessing to heroes and people of this land is to me a painful and agonizing curse. Eyeball. I can sense it is time for me to be claimed again, but this time it is my turn. My quest on my terms. Time for me to put an end to this cursed existence I endure. Oh, also just FYI, in case it matters, I cannot see chat while, uh, playing some of these games because I use a single single monitor and the games are only made to be played in full screen. You're dragging we, the hero yes. around. Okay, that's actually pretty We are funny. dragging the hero. This is this is good. <laughs> I like this so far. He's like ah You died, um, excuse me, the hero died. I did not die, I'm a sword. Spikes would not hurt me. I will forgive, I will forgive this game, uh... Uh, what, what It should say the hero died or something, or the knight died, like... I have a feeling that's gonna be a reoccurring, uh, issue that I have, like thematic issue, where 
a lot of games do something similar. They, they try and say you are like the piece, you're not the, the hero. But then they're still going to refer to things like you died as though you were the hero. Oh my god, this curve is difficult. We got, like, some mad ice physics going on. Oh, well, well. Oh, gosh, there's Zombo or something. Oh, can I not stab them? Oh, there we go. You died. Okay, how does the combat work? Let's, let's see if we can figure this out. Do I just stab you? No? Okay. Do I have to swing? All right, all right. We got we got some stabs. That looked like it should be an area. I I'm not a huge fan, personal personal thing, not a huge fan of just invisible walls. If I can see this direction, I should be able to go there. Or like, there should be more clues on the ground, like, like the ground should look different or something, I don't know. I just don't like invisible wall. That's okay though. Oh no, we died to a barricade. <laughs> Don't do that. Colette's tunic playthrough is, is gold. I just want everyone to know. If you are not also watching it, it's so good. Alright, we're speedrunning. We speedrun it. That's a buzzsaw! This is the White Palace. Oh god. Okay. So I probably need to go down. We start all the way up here. Oh, that's rude. Okay. I want to see if we can get to the end of this. I feel like... I feel like we could. So this game feels like it has kind of like the, uh... Who's that person that makes, like, getting over it and quop? Uh... Bennett Foddy? I think so, yes. Oh, he's got a new game coming out. Yes, there is a new game coming out. I don't remember what it's called. But it does actually look interesting. Baby steps. It actually looks interesting, assuming it doesn't actually play like Quop, but I can't tell. Oh, I can't go this way. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. I thought that's the way I needed to go. Uh-oh. Um. But, uh, this game has, like, that kind of energy. Like, uh, like, because, like, it's so slippery and stuff, and, like, you're trying to, you're trying to have control over something that like does not want to be controlled so to speak but uh oh 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 let me through let me over the corpses 
But I think I like it. We are going to cheese. Any... Oh shit! The Daniel Matt's in here! Oh shit. We're going to try and cheese oh, enemies shit. whenever we can. I wonder, I don't think the Daniel Matt finished uh, his Tunic playthrough. I wonder if he will watch all of Colette's or not. Oh! Oh! Ah! No, don't get it! Don't get it! Alright, boom. We killed them. Alright, uh, it's interesting they have like a little rubble on the ground that makes it so walking is awkward. Oh gosh, there's a lot of zombos. Oh gosh, okay, okay, yeah, I get it. What? Something just shot at me. Okay, I think... F. I think I need to break that. Oh, we start up here again. Okay, maybe I won't finish this game. I wanted to finish this game, but that is... Very tedious to start all the way back up here. Is there anything over here? No. Can I like... That's true, the enemies do stay dead. That's nice. I feel like there should be a way to clip over this wall. You and you're wanting to clip into things. Maybe if I get a oh, you died over there, you bastard. I think that if I get a corpse to die next to the wall, I could do it. Oh, the okay, these stay down. That you know what? That's better. I didn't think this was gonna stay down. Okay, so those launch arrows. I don't know what triggers them to launch arrows. Rude. Go. All right. We need to not get shot. <laughs> this game is good. This is this is very obnoxious, but it is very good. And it's got a very charming kind of jankiness. Okay, I think the arrows maybe are just on timers. So, we just need to hit those, not get stabbed. Okay, okay, there. Now when this goes down... No, get off, get off, get off, get off it! We're gonna get stabbed! Oh, we're about to get so We died in a cutscene. Oh, wow, that's rude. a dick move game. You know what? But with, like... 
it feels fitting. It feels fitting that in a game like this you could die in a cutscene. I can't even be mad, really. Oh! Oh god, we are in uh, Mario Sunshine now. Um, camera? Okay, uh, I don't know what those things on the sides are. Are they supposed to be torches? I think they're torches I can't see part of. Okay, we got we got over it. We got over it. Okay, uh here we go. Let's not die to that. Zombo, Zombo, excuse me, Zombos. At last, I have finally found you. Son? To be continued? Dun dun dun! Alright. That was, you know, that was a good game. There is not a quit button. Last year I had a very big vendetta against games that didn't put a quit button. It's okay though. I know. If I had been able to work on the game with you more, there would absolutely be a quit button. I did think about that when I got locked in the end credits. I forgive you. I did initially have the ability to press escape to quit, but then I removed it because it, uh, because of, uh, the WebGL version that kind of... Oh my gosh, we have an oat. Yeah. Well, at least we had an oat. I don't know if we still have an oat. If we do have an oat, hello, oat. I didn't have chat for the last... Hello. I didn't have chat for the last, uh, however long I was playing that. Okay, enjoyment. Um, you know, that was, that was a good game. We're gonna give that... I'm gonna give that a four on the enjoyometer. Creativity? Maybe it wasn't creative, but I thought it was creative. Yeah, the slippery it was like that one genre of games. It was fun. And presentation four. That game looked good. It didn't like look bad. They had a whole bunch of decoration going on. Kind of good good use of everything. Alright, let's see here. What's next? So that was a... Ah, oh, that was Legend of Sword. Uh, Princess Journey. That sounds fun.
Oh my gosh, Princess Journey is a beefy, beefy file. Oat, how are you doing today? How beefy is it? Uh, it's 600 megabytes. I downloaded it. I, I played a game earlier that was like almost a gigabyte, and I don't understand how. Was it an Unreal Engine game? It was. That's why. I assume this probably is too. I was like, it was such a... That game also had all... It had um, Mac, Windows, and Linux builds. It had all three of them in one zip. That's terrible. So if you want to download it, you have to download all of the versions. That's awful. Yeah. Oh, and Windows and I think Linux had two separate ones. One for 32-bit and one for 64-bit. That's unnecessary. <laughs> for for the record, if you look into it, the, uh, the reason, like, 32-bit stuff has been mostly dropped for support is because uh, recent, like... I don't know if studies is the right term, but, uh, like, polls. It, it sh basically, we know fairly confidently that, like, less than 1% of, uh, of people that are, like, playing games and stuff on computers, I mean, using, using computers, but even playing games, like, are on 32-bit. Like, it's such a small fraction of people that, like, um... I don't know, if you're playing on 32-bit at this point, you, you have to accept that most things are not going to support your system anymore. Oh, sure enough, this game is, in fact, an Unreal Engine game. Well, how about that? Yeah, I, I don't remember why, but something about Unreal Engine, like, the very base existence of an Unreal Engine, uh, like, program or game is, uh, is huge. So, like, the, the simplest Unreal Engine game is still going to be a huge game. Mm, good, had a productive weekend, but a bit wiped. I feel that. I personally did not have a productive weekend, I don't think. I worked all weekend. And work kind of sucked. Actually, let me put it this way. Like, let me rephrase this. Both weekend days, assuming you count Saturday and Sunday, like, out of my shifts, the first 75% of the shifts were actually really good. Everything was going great. And the last 25% of both days was terrible. And just, like so exhausting that it felt like multiple days worth of work at once. Just like a ton of people showing up, a ton of issues, a ton of just exhaustion. But that's okay. And then Minish frickin' made an entire game in frickin' 48 hours. So that's pretty good. On the bright side, um, I found out today that I, ha I get to have a three-day weekend. I will have a... Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday off this week, which is pretty sweet. I'm very excited for that to be this week because um, I am probably going to be doing 12-hour streams on two of those three days just streaming Game Jam stuff. I'll probably try and figure out something to... Like, have chat still visible. A system reboot is required? No. We will not be doing that. So, so when I went to launch this game, 
Unreal. Unreal said, "Oh, you don't have one of the uh, one of the the things on your computer that needs to be on here. Yeah, there's a you're missing a prerequisite. Do you want to install your prerequisite?" And I said, "Okay, fine." Um, and then, and then it said, okay, we've installed the prerequisite. You will now need to restart your computer before you can use the software. Well, sorry, Princess Journey. I will not be playing you. At least not right now. I might make a note and come back to it tomorrow. Like, I don't want to, like, rule the game out because, um, apparently Unreal Engine wants me to have something on my computer. It was like a visual studio file or something. I don't remember. It said what it was. But, uh, yeah. So, we will just go ahead and be skipping that for now. I'm sorry. I'll leave you in a tab so I don't forget to come back to you. Uh, you can have chat open on your phone or if you have a tablet. I do not have a tab. Well... Technically, Torny has a tablet somewhere, but it's a fire, it's like an old fire tablet. I don't know if it even can load Twitch chat. Um, I could load it on my phone. I load chat on my phone all the time, but I usually load other people's chat on my phone. Like, artsy chat, or Colette chat, or oat chat. I don't, I don't load my own chat. It never really occurred to me that I could load my own chat on my phone. Can you see chat in, like creator mode on your phone. I know that like whenever I start streaming <laughs> whenever I start streaming like uh, tw the Twitch app is like you can do control <laughs> control stuff on your phone. It never occurred to me chat might be on that. Um actually I can unfortunately not use that anymore. Um the company that does the voices um uh, Uberduck Uberduck uh, change their model. So it was a subscription service, so like, you play, you paid however much, I forgot what it was, like a hundred bucks a year or something. Some, you know, wh whatever the number is. You paid an amount and you had access to it for the year. And that was it. And they did a very scummy thing. Without, like, announcing it, they switched. And they switched to, like, what you've seen probably a lot of, uh, like AI systems and stuff use. They switched to a credits system where every time you ran something on their API, it used a credit. And like anyone who was on their one year subscription got like 5,000 credits. Uh, and it wouldn't stop you if you, <laughs> if you went over your credits. What they would do is they would bill you for the credits used. So, uh, again, they did not announce this. They didn't pause anything. They just switched the system in the middle of the year. Um, yeah, which I feel like maybe is illegal. I don't, I don't know. You'd have to look at the contract probably when you agree to. But, but anyway, um, I guess they, they straight up, like, started to send out bills to people. Like, <laughs> like. Like, uh, one of the people, because Kerr originally wrote that bot for, he wrote that bot for somebody, um, like a larger uh, streamer, and the person noticed that they had, like, a message that said that they had used, like, 50,000 credits that was going to be equal to some absurd amount of money, like, thousands of dollars. Um, so, yeah, that's just absurd. Uh, from what I understand, uh, the company, it, in its quote-unquote defense, uh, did essentially forgive all bills for, from that. So, like, and I, I say in their defense, quote-unquote, um, because what I understand is they, if you message them and say, I have no idea what the hell this is about, they would remove the bill. And they said, oh, yeah, we've changed this. They'd explain it to you and then and then remove it. But if you didn't message them and just paid the bill, I'm pretty sure they would just accept the payment. Um, so, yeah, like I definitely feel like they could be sued, especially because it's like a, I'm pretty sure they operate in multiple countries. And at the very least, Australia probably doesn't like that. Australia tends to be very uh, 
pro-consumer. <laughs> anyway. Sorry for a big tangent, but but yeah, so that is why we can't use TTS bot, because it sucks now, which I think is very sad. I guess, you know, we could like use regular TTS. I'm sure that Kerr could probably make the bot just like use built-in Windows te text-to-speech. But that's not as fun. Okay, next game. Should we do Rolls Reincarnate? Oh my god! Yes, we have to do this! Holy heck! <laughs> the second best game ever made! Where... The description isn't on this page. Okay. I just have to go back to this description real quick. Um, the amazing sequel to last year's critically acclaimed Dice Hell. Take control of Pirate the Discovered Mysterious Island. The point is, this is a sequel to last year's game. I don't think I played last year's game, but I'm so excited for this already. That awkward moment when you copy the wrong zip folder to extract. All right. I wonder if this game also doesn't have sound or if this is a Unity bug, because this is like the third time we've had a game without sound that feels like it should have sound. Whoa. Oh my gosh, we're the, we're the monster. Oh, we switch back and forth. Oh. -ho. Oh my god, we're a pirate killing pirates now. And the monsters. Oh, goodness. Wait, is it whatever kills us is what we become? Okay, so pirate killed us, we are now a pirate. Skeleton killed us, we are now skeleton. All right, I didn't see who killed us that time, but I do believe that's how it works. That's a neat concept. Like, whatever you die to, you become for, like, the next, uh, round. There doesn't seem to be any sort of, like, overall ching overarching goal to this nor is there like even a score like it's not like what's my best skeleton score what's my best whatever score uh but you know it's got the it's got a very cute concept Yar har yar 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 yar
uh, enjoyment. I, I I did not actually enjoy not having any sort of score or goal or anything. Uh, creativity, that you know what, that gets a three in creativity. Presentation, again, it like wasn't it wasn't really things, but that was creative. That was cute. All right, what should we do next? Build the wall. Wait, is this uh, like brick break? Reverse big brick break sounds interesting. Maybe I should start putting on some music for if there's not music. But also, like, you know, I don't know. I don't want to affect the experience, because, like, if a game doesn't have music, that's, that's how I think the game should be experienced. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's loud. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Wait, do I still have a Unity Hub open? Why do you say I have a Unity Hub open? Sus. I don't see that Unity Hub is open, but uh, my computer seems to think it is. Aha! Yeah, there we go. Let's get rid of Unity Hub. Uh, let's turn this game the fuck down. And then let's uh, get OBS to stream it. If anybody, if anybody... That's amazing. I was gonna say is if anybody knows uh, a simple way to set up an OBS, how to have it switch an input. Oh, an easy way to switch to whatever game I'm playing. I don't know of a good way to do that, though. Alright. Place your wall, select a brick, and set on board for defense. Ah, shrug indeed. I need to turn this down more, it's still so loud. Oh, I didn't mean to place that, that's okay. Evil lives, time, money for bricks. Okay. Uh,
Um, so, fun fact, I was going to set the stream to games and demos, because that's what I discovered. But, um, it... I got, like, a warning when I tried to do that, that said, like, this, some, something about this category only, is only allowed for mature audiences or something. I didn't know what that meant, so I just decided to not, uh, do it. I mean, I'm going, I would assume it would mean if you set your category to that, your stream would be set as intended for mature audiences. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what that means. Like, that's probably what it means, but like... I mean, I guess it might make sense for games that are mature, but like... I don't, I didn't, I didn't really like the idea that my stream was automatically set to mature, like, from that. My stream used to be set to mature, uh, but when they introduced the new tags or whatever, I never went and set it to mature with those. Uh, so, I don't know. Evil lives. Time until next fortification, 20. I, I don't, I still don't actually know what these do. Uh, I don't appear to be able to place any of these bricks now. Play Reversing Rolls. Is there a game called Reversing Rolls? I still can't place bricks. I've only, I was only allowed to place them the first time. I'm sure this is some sort of bug, but... I do have money. I have nine money. I don't think so. I thought they cost one. Hmm. That's okay, though. Ah, the flaw with the AI that's made in 48 hours. I mean, again, that was also the very first idea that we threw out, because it was, uh... I mean, it's the very, like, it's the most obvious idea, like... Yeah. Oh, this is great. Sorry, please reload the app after losing. The game is broken. <laughs> well, uh, this is probably the second most obvious. I think X game, except you play as the enemy, would probably be the most obvious. Oh, that's true, that's true. Uh, hello. To, to people who, who have come in, um, I have not figured out a chat solution to when I'm in full screen. I don't normally play games in full screen, but uh, obviously like a lot of, you know, game jam games, they are in full screen because adding other options isn't a choice. But, uh, but welcome in. Yes, I am... Probably only gonna play a few more games because I have work in the morning. But I am probably going to be streaming games all week. Um, I'm gonna try and do it every night, so we shall we shall see. Also, yeah, making AI in 48 hours is a pain. That um, I would imagine so. I know there's some like uh, free to use like AI stuff, but probably that's not gonna fit the needs very well. Uh, but yes, welcome in VR 
MV RM car and Cthulhu Cthulhu who? Play Reversing Rolls. I feel like Reversing Rolls is the name of a lot of games. But, uh... I'm not sure if I could just go out of my way to play certain games yet. I've probably played ten. I mean, it should say how many you've played. I don't know if it shows on this page, but... Let's go, uh... We'll go to the main submission. So... There is rolls reversed. There is reversing rolls. There is rolls reversed again. There is rolls reverser. The racing car. There is a. Uh, the second one. Ah, a race, but you're going backwards. Also, I just realized I think I closed the game I was on without actually voting on it. Rip. A race, but you're going backwards. Race others using your mirror. I should turn up the, uh, hold on one second. Okay, there we go. Oh, we might be stuck in the wall. There we go. Excellent. Ex oh.
Boom! First. Sorry for not talking during that. Um, I use I use push to talk, and um, it's alt, which alt is normally a fine push to talk button. However, um, with some web games, it then like locks out of the game, so it's just easier to to not press it if I can't know that I'm not gonna mess it up. But yes, that was interesting. Um, yes, left and right click to view mirrors. I did see that you mentioned that. Um, one of the things I like to do on Game Jam games is see what the game is like, just playing the game directly, without, <laughs> without reading anything, and if the game mentions things or I feel the need to mess with other controls, I'll, I'll mention it, but if it's not mentioned in the game, then I'll usually wait to, like, in case I, like, look down, like, after one playthrough of it. Um. Just because I think it's, I, I enjoy assessing them more, like, on what's in the game. Ah. Uh, that being said, that was a, that was a cute game. It did seem like the, the main mirror gave you more than enough information to, to usually, like, go everywhere. Wait, is there more levels? I thought that was a singular race! Oh my gosh. I see now. Oh, we sideways. I can see why this is the next progression. I don't like this. <laughs> don't enjoy this. <laughs> uh, that's an idea. Oh. Oh, restarting took me back here. Rip. That's okay. Goes for two laps. Yeah, I was not expecting the second, like, level, because it didn't make it clear as a level. I thought that was just, like, the end screen. Yeah, not... I don't know how I feel about requiring the left and right. Uh... My brain doesn't like it. I'm sure other brains do like it. <laughs> uh, enjoyment? That was pretty good. We'll put a four. It is creative. And it does have good assets. Boom. Excellent. All right, what time is it? 11.30. So, play... Yeah, play... play another one before I get ready for bed. Uh, let's see here. Let's go see if we can find more zero rating, zero comment games. Let's see. News report. Light. Uh, you can post it. I'm gonna play one that I find here, but I, I could post it. Or I could play it. Let's see. Baseball simulator. You are the coin. I'm gonna try this one first. Hmm, this is suspicious. An exe and a Python script, and just a fi a, a GitHub external link. I suspect this wasn't actually uploaded um, correctly. 
Unless it's a Python game, like it's suspicious. It's just a just a exe though. I'm curious as to what the GitHub link is. There's no release set for it. That's concerning. Download the whole code base. Like, if the Python script requires the assets folder, then you could probably play it out of this. But I feel like submitting a GitHub page is not the. <laughs> not what you're supposed to do. I have to check if this Python script is actually runnable on its own. Okay, it does not run. And we'll check the exe too. I don't think that'll run either, but we will check it. No, the bio, the, the exe also does not run. I'm curious. Let's see. Uh, trace back. Okay, yeah, the Python, <laughs> the the script looks for the assets, and the assets are missing because they didn't include the assets with the download. They they just linked to the GitHub with the assets. You can't do that. <laughs> That's not a valid submission. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so that would be invalid. Okay. Well, let us see. So, ba ba ba. Plenty of fish. Oh, I saw the two pink names back to back. I said plenty of fish, but then clicked on the link for uh, for this game, which is Endless Helper. I don't mind if you want to post a link to your game, by the way. Um, I don't have links, like, turned off, because if you post a bad link, I'll just ban you. But, uh, <laughs> so, so I don't mind if you want to post a link. I probably won't go search for games a bunch. All right. All right. Thank you for the link. All right, Endless Helper, I... Let's see, press T to start with tutorial. Heck yeah. 
All right, mouse click. What does mouse click do? Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, bombs are bad for health. Oh. Excellent. Uh, bombs brick breaks? Oh, I see. S to slow time. Okay. And then the slow grows again. Nice, excellent. Okay, so single gaps I think are all jumpable, right? Boop, boop, boop. Ah. Oh, you, hold on, I can't see chat for a second. I will fix that in a moment. Oh, you can slow time. Yes. Rip. Okay. That's fine. Single gap, single gap, single gap. Uh, sure, let's go up. Oh, well he... Oh, okay, good, nice. This is well they. I don't know why I did that. Aha! We just do that. Rip. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that's, you know, that's a fun concept. I don't know if more things come later, but I think it seems... At least it seems like that's... A, I don't know where the mile marker to add new things are, but I, I would assume that's, like, the general idea. That definitely gets, like, rude. Like, you gotta... Gotta react very quickly, and if you're spamming the slow a lot, then you don't have the slow for the next thing. Very fun. That is a nice game. That's a boo. Oh, there's no more. Oh, for it. <laughs> oh, pretty. Yes. I do wish there was like some sort of background music going on. Kind of like they. They feel like that would go a lot. But that was that was good. Yeah. See, that definitely seems like uh. That seems like the kind of thing that I could imagine being really fun to play, uh, like, like, idly. Uh. Like, I don't know, uh, if you've ever played, um, Archipelago, which is a, a randomizer, like, engine that lets you randomize other games, like, games with other games. But I could see that being a very fun game to have, uh, there's a, there's a thing, there's, there's games that exist for Archipelago, where uh, when you have nothing left to do in your game, you play this game, like as an idle thing to do, 
And I could see that as a fun thing, where, like, you play that and it, like, gives people's bonuses while playing it. I know that seems really, like, out of left field to say, but, um... My point was it seems like a very fun game to, like, kind of just, just... Like, like, play in addition to just doing other things. Like, I want to play a run or two of that. Like, it seems like it'd be very addicting. Okay, what was the other game? What if the fisher becomes the fished? Oh no. Yeah, I feel like that's that's how I'm always going to feel with Game Jam stuff. Um, I personally didn't really get to participate in it this year. Last last year I did. And um, Minish and I, Minish submitted stuff this year, um, which would be the pinned, the pinned game. But um, uh, we, we worked on our Game Jam game from last year for an, an extra like month afterwards and learned a lot more stuff and added to it and polished some things. And eventually I'd still like to revisit that game and do more stuff. Because um, it seemed like a really fun concept. And I feel like the same with uh, Minish's game this year. Uh, which is like, this year's game is like a reverse Metroidvania. And I feel like it has a lot of really fun ideas in it. It definitely needs way more time put into it though. Okay, and now OBS. There we go. Alright, so again, I will not be able to see chat while I have this game open, just as a heads up. Oh, I see. Okay, we are this little fish shadow. <laughs> fish is left eight. Oh, are we trying to protect these fish? Are we one fish and we're trying to protect the other fish? Oh no! Oh, I think a fish got taken! Oh my goodness gracious! Alright. Oh, no. No you don't! Nice. Nice. This this is a cute game. Uh, Donde esta? Ah, ah, no, 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 no! Oh, we lost a fish, buddy. Oh, oh, ha! No, 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 no! Nice. Does that sound mean that there's a- No! It did. Okay. So there's an audio cue if there's a fish bobber thing.
Oh, I hear, I hear a thing, but I don't see it. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, I guess they go for it. So I can also follow my fish. Okay, my like my little my little school, if you will. I will say my index finger Ah! Cats. The cats decided to chase themselves under my chair. It's very alarming. My index finger is kind of getting sore from this. <laughs> But I'm probably, like, uh, putting way too much pressure down. I'm just excited. I get excited, so I... <laughs> Clearly more pressure means stronger fish pulling. But I kind of think, like, I wish it would be, like, a toggle. Like a, uh... Uh... Like, tap to be going, and then tap to stop. Because I don't really think I ever want to stop. I guess that's my point. I never want to stop moving. Game over! What? I oh, know. I didn't know what that message said. Okay, but that's okay. Alright. Let's protect my What? Ah. I don't think we got game over, like, we didn't lose our fish, we still had the five fish, I thought. Either way, that was, you know, that was pretty good. My fish did get caught. I literally never saw the number get lower than five. Uh, I probably didn't notice, though. Wait, wait, your fish? So you're saying my fish got caught? Like, I personally got caught. I didn't even realize that could happen. I... I guess maybe I needed to be using my dash against it. I see. I was using my dash most of the time, but every now and then I would dash to the bobber. So then my dash was on cooldown for the actual, uh... The actual pulling on the bobber. But anyway, that... Yeah, I enjoyed that game a lot. That was five. I had five enjoyment in that. It was a very simple thing. <laughs> like, like it's a very simple, like, single pond and stuff. But I, I enjoyed, <laughs> enjoyed going for it. Like, it was a, a good game loop. A, like, a fun one. That was a good game. Ah, uh, what time is it? 11.55. Okay. Uh, I could probably play one more thing before I have to go to bed. That's true. I could minish, minish link some games earlier. Okay, we are gonna, we're gonna go to this one, actually. Alright, we're going to play, uh, this Reverse Frogger game. Frogger to, uh, I... It's got sound, that's nice. We'll leave it. Price, speed, oh, okay, I see. And then I put a thing, okay. Nice, excellent. Boom. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get faster vehicles. That's a double.
Boom. All the speed. The triple! The triple splat! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my gosh. That was scary. That was close. Oh yeah, we squishing, we squishing frogs. Boom, the double. Oh god, I wasn't paying attention. Oh crap! Oh, we are about to lose some frog. Oh my god. This got out of control. Okay. I think we accidentally let like one frog get through, but that's okay. Oh, well, that's okay. Rip. The frogs won. You know, it's a good world when the frogs win, let's be honest here. That was the good ending. Alright, so yes, I'm going to wrap up for the night. Uh, I have to wake up early, so... Uh... Oh, did you see if you were able to break the, um... I don't know if you want... if you were planning to break the... I, I will check that later. I've got a... Yeah, I... I will check the rating stuff later. Oops, I didn't actually mean to start that again. I don't see a pause. Oh no, that's okay. Okay, anyway. We are going to head over. Colette is playing Tunic. Um, if you haven't played Tunic, then probably don't. Don't go watch. But uh, you should play Tunic. Tunic's a great game. 
uh, and I'm going to go to bed. So have a wonderful evening. Thanks for hanging out. Um, yeah, as mentioned before, I am probably going to be streaming Game Jam games all week. So, um, if you are interested in watching other random games, feel free to come hang out. Um, probably I'll be streaming like during daytime. I live on Pacific Pacific Standard Time. Is it daylight savings? I don't know. I never know when that is. It's midnight for us. Yes, it's currently midnight for me. I'll be playing during the daytime other days. But anyway, have a good evening. Goodbye.